Hey there, I'm Leslie, co-founder of Newsletter Glue, and here's a quick tutorial on our newsletter templates. You can access our newsletter templates by heading to Newsletters, then Templates and Styles. Over here, you can see a whole bunch of our default templates, labeled Default. Hover on any of the templates and click View Email Preview in order to preview what it'll look like in email. You can also see what it looks like in mobile and email HTML. You can edit any of the default templates by clicking Edit. You'll see this notification come up asking if you want to duplicate the template instead. Duplicating a default template simply allows you to customize the template without affecting the default itself. If you want to change the default itself, simply click on Edit again. And if you regret the changes that you've made to the default template, simply head over here and reset default templates. This lets you change back the default template to its original default and remove any of the edits that you've made to the default template. The final and most important feature to talk about is active templates. You can set any of these templates, including ones you've built yourself, as an active template. The active template is what is preloaded every time you click on Add New Newsletter. This saves you time because every time you want to start a new newsletter, you already have your template preloaded and ready to go. To change your active template, simply click on another one. And if you don't want any active template at all, just click on it again to deactivate it. You can also create new newsletters with a different template by heading to All Newsletters and then clicking on Select Template. This brings up the template library where you can pick and choose a different template from your active template to use. Now that you know how templates work, let me show you how you can set up your templates for a more efficient newsletter publishing workflow. Hover over the template that you want to customize, then click on Duplicate. You'll see the copy of the template that you want to customize here, then click on Edit to edit it. Let's begin by changing the template's name. Then we can change this generic logo to your newsletter logo. When it comes to the image, I'm going to keep this here as a placeholder because I want to remind myself to add an image every week and it's pretty easy to replace just by clicking on this button. In contrast, I don't want to have to be erasing or deleting text every week, so I'm just going to remove this text and keep the heading as a placeholder and do the same over here as well. Okay, so now I have a heading and a main text placeholder and a button as well, which I want to keep. Further down, I see a Featured Read section. I like how this looks, but I don't want to have to delete this particular link every single week, so I can just delete it now. In the future, all Featured Reads will just be as simple as adding a link over here, clicking on Add. Likewise, I like how this looks, these kind of secondary links but I don't want to have to delete these links every single time, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete them now. Finally, this unsubscribe link, this is generated from us, you don't have to touch it, it will work perfectly with your email service provider. Okay, I'm happy with all of this, let's click on update and preview email in browser. So this is how my template looks, you can see that all the links are missing, all the text is missing, simply because we've now removed it. Happy with how this looks. You can also send the template to yourself as a test email. Okay, so the final thing that I'm going to do now that I'm happy with how everything looks is give my template a category name. Let's call this my favorites. and update the template again. So the last thing we're going to do is set it as our active template and now our template is active and ready to be used. Now let's pretend it's the next day and I'm coming into WordPress to send my newsletter. All I need to do now is click on add new newsletter and that's it. You now know how to use our templates and incorporate it into your newsletter publishing workflow. I hope you enjoy using this feature and if you have any questions, do let me know.